This week we're going to talk about open channel flow. Now in this video we're going to cover some of the properties of open channel flows. So for starters, what is an open channel flow? An open channel flow, also known as a free surface flow or a gravity flow, is a liquid flow that has an interface between its upper layer and a gas. A free surface is that interface that exists between the liquid and the gas. Typically in this class, the gas will be air in the atmosphere, which means that the pressure at the free surface will almost always be atmospheric pressure. A reach is defined as a continuous stretch of a waterway where properties may be simplified. So if you hear me talk about the properties of a reach or the properties of a channel reach, I'm usually talking about that segment of the channel where we are studying. Some examples of open channel flow include ocean waves, river currents, rainfall overland flow, and flows in man-made structures such as canals or culverts. Open channel flows are the most common flow phenomenon on the Earth's surface. The elevation of the free surface, or specifically the depth of that flow, varies with velocity. Most natural open channel flows are three-dimensional. However, in engineering practice, specifically civil engineering practice, we simplify these flows as one-dimensional or two-dimensional. Some flows that we can simplify as one-dimensional include flows in rivers, channels, or culverts. However, some other flows, like meandering rivers in flat areas, patterns in lakes, and estuaries, have to be simplified as two-dimensional flows. And finally, most open channel flows in nature are turbulent. So from this point forward in this class, we will almost always assume that our open channel flows are turbulent unless I say otherwise. Now, when we are modeling open channel flows, if we choose to model them as one dimensional, we will most likely assume that the velocity across an entire cross section is equal to the average velocity at that cross section. Every time you see a velocity term in an open channel and we're looking at it as a one dimensional flow, please assume that that velocity is equal to the average velocity of a cross sectional area. Now that's all for now. In the next video, we're going to start looking at some more detailed features of open channel flows.